Hi there, I'm Annie with Polar Explorers, and I'm gonna share with you five things that I always keep in mind when training for a polar expedition. Number one is to develop a personal plan and a personal problem list of things that I wanna overcome during my training. So the personal plan, I will ask myself about the expedition, where I'm going, what I might see on the expedition, and am I gonna be on pack ice? Am I gonna be at altitude? Am I gonna have a lot of ascents? Am I gonna have any descents? Um, will I also need to train some other skills like for a crevasse rescue or something like that? So those are gonna be, those are gonna help me figure out what I wanna do for training. And then I take a look at my personal problem list. Um, that might include like lower sore back or Achilles tendonitis or um, plantar fasciitis or anything else that are common ailments. But specifically ask yourself if there's anything that you wanna try to overcome and train for so that during your expedition, it doesn't bother you so much. For number two, I remember two letters. Actually, it's just one letter and I use it twice. The letter is P and I use it for power and protection. So let's take a look at power. I'm gonna be doing what, no matter what my training is, I'm gonna be thinking about power and how I can build those muscle groups that are gonna give me power if and when I need to turn the power up on my expedition whether it's getting through a difficult day or a tricky situation, some extra big rubble or a big patch of snow that's super grippy and wants to hold my sled, or maybe it's a big hill that I have to climb. I wanna be able to turn up the power when I need it, or maybe it's turning up my speed or my contribution to the team. I wanna be able to do that. The second P is protection. So I'm gonna be building those muscles around those joints that have a tendency to get overused or that give me problems typically. And that for me would be my lower back, my tendonitis area and my ankles. For other people, it might be your knees, it might be your elbows or your wrists, which also get a good workout on these expeditions and are often overlooked. So you're gonna to wanna to be building protection to keep stability in those spots when you're on the expedition so that they stay, stay safe and you can keep from becoming injured. So two Ps, power and protection. I'm thinking about that all the time, no matter what kind of training I'm doing. Number three is training for endurance. No matter which expedition I'm on, I could be pretty sure I'm gonna have some long days. So I wanna be able to have those and feel good about them when they do arise. There are a couple ways I train for endurance. The first is I do a lot of cardio. I'm just working on building up those aerobic muscles and those aerobic habits that I have so that when I do have a long day and I'm breathing hard all day long, I can handle it. Not only that, but I want to be able to turn up the notch if I need to, if I need to go faster, or if I've got to get up a hill. The second thing I do is I pull tires. And so we've got a whole video about watching tires, about pulling tires that you might want to check out. Number four is balance. There are so many times on an average expedition when your sense of balance is challenged. Whether you're in a whiteout or you're taking a big step over a piece of rubble and you find yourself on one ski for a minute or you have to turn around and your sense of balance just gets kind of whacked out. So it's really good to have those balance muscles trained so when you need them, you can use them. There are so many balance exercises that you can do. Just Google it and you'll find a load of them. Um, but it's something that's often overlooked because you're thinking so much about strength, you're thinking about protection, you're thinking about cardio, but you need to be thinking about balance too. Number five is variety. When you're training, mix things up. You're gonna to wanna to be able to adapt to changing circumstances and situations when you're on the expedition. It should be no different while you're training. So go out in a variety of weather. Don't only go out when it's nice, go out when it's raining, go out when it's windy, go out when you have to think about other things besides your training. And if you're pulling a tire, mix that up too. Sometimes pull a light tire so that you can go longer or faster. Sometimes add a second tire so you go slower. Sometimes pull over different types of terrain, curbs and sand and forest floor. Any kind of training that you do, just mix it up. Keep it fresh and new, keep it exciting because when you're on the expedition, you're gonna have a lot of fresh and new and exciting and you wanna be able to adapt to those situations when you have them. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it gave you some good tips and suggestions for your own training. See you next time.